Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, video or not really a video but what do you call it like a little soundtrack using LMMS and get it in a YouTube and try to keep it high quality and put your own like little album track art or album art on your track as you play it on YouTube First, we'll start out with LMMS. So you have a track in LMMS. Something you'd like to hear. Sounds like it's just a demo. Nothing special here, but just to get the idea. And what you do is you export your project as a WAV file. And I'm going to go desktop. Because that way I know where to find it. Yeah, random demo. You can just save it as a wave. At least in a XP, you save it as a wave or Windows or whatever. In Linux, I guess you'd have to do nog. I don't know. This is for Windows, by the way. <laughs> so if you're using LMMS on Linux, well, you'll have to figure out your own way. But this is the Windows way. All right. So back to the track here. Got my random demo, and I'm going to save it as a wave out of LMMS. And what I want is 160 kilobits per second. I find it sounds better than the lower settings, but it's not too high. Save it as a wave. Interpolation and stuff. I don't really mess with this other stuff here. I'm not entirely sure what it does. But this right here, I put it on sync best. Because it's not that slow. At least for shorter tracks, it's not so. Then you just click start and let it save. And you have your track saved and you're done with your project. And you can quit. So, oops. But now what I go is go into Audacity. Open the WAV file. Desktop. And where is it? It should be random demo right there. Open that in Audacity. Now what you do is you export it back out. How does the Ogborb is here? But as an MP3, and then if you can't come up with the options, make sure to set it back to the 160 kilobits per second in the same quality that you had it in LMS. Just make sure it's some wave because that way it'll go directly to your video soundtrack without screwing it up or anything. You find it. That's how you get. So you save it out as MP3, 160 kilobits per second with 4400, whatever that was. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, but. Anyhow, I don't think I got the options because I have everything set already. You can do that stuff if you want, but because I'm just uploading it as part of a video, I'm not going to screw with it. And, and it exports back out. I don't really need to save that. And see, now I have a wave and an MP3 on my desktop. So what I do now is I make my album art. And I have Photoshop here, but this here, you could use GIMP to do the same thing. But make your album art, but the size you make it is image size. It's 1280 by 720, which is your high def video size. So this will fill your full screen on YouTube if you're watching on a wide screen. And it will fill the full box if you're just watching the small YouTube window box. But you get the idea. So I just have some basic picture. I'm gonna select all at copy. This is like a high quality picture from a digital camera, so it should fill this whole square here. And edit. Now I'm gonna paste it. And there, there's my album art. <laughs> See, this is what will fill the YouTube screen. That's your album art. And what you do is you save it for web. And I should see it. 12 So I am going to save for web. I'm just going to leave it untitled to the desktop. But you get the idea. That's going to be the album art. And I can close out of this. Now what I do is I go to Virtual Dub, which is a pretty cool program. That's free. You can find it on internet. And what I do is I open a video file, and there's my album art, the untitled. 
and they open that as a video file even though it's a JPEG it will work trust me say open this video is full processing and let's see what's compression I don't really have compression set but you want it full processing otherwise I won't be able to do anything with the picture and edit select all and what I'm going to do is copy and paste and watch these numbers down here this will show you how many frames you have and I do this so I have like 10 frames right now and what I do is I select all again copy I don't know if it seems to work for me but you got like 10 frames now of this picture and I'm going to copy it all again and I am going to paste till I have like 60 frames 60 frames that seems to work good and I'm going to save this as a video and it's just going to be untitled but it's a video I'm not going to do anything just yet because otherwise the software will get confused and what you do is you open the same video you just saved and now what you do is you go to audio and you want direct stream copy yeah direct stream copy but you click audio from other file and where is it the mp3 has 160 kilobits per second you open that up and auto detect works fine video you go frame rate and you want to change the frame rate so video and audio durations match that's one of the important things and you click here convert to frames per second I usually just go 30 and video I go to compression and I like xvid mpeg codec which you can download the xvid codecs from xvid.org it's a good one and I just force keyframes like every 60 frames and because it's 30 frames per second every two seconds you'll have a keyframe that will let you pause your video so if you see videos that don't let you pause and stuff or whatever it's because they don't have enough keyframes they're on autopilot or something but anyhow you do that click OK now what you do is you save as AVI again and then you title it and you should save it as an AVI which will give you a video and I'll show you in a moment so now I can close virtual dub la 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 AVI alright and see you got a video with your LMS track in high def quality with a good mp3 compression to upload to YouTube it's that easy there you go that's the walkthrough and now you can do it on your own and I'm going to upload this to YouTube so you can see how to do it all that jazz there you go enjoy have fun